Hi, I'm Kim Vose Jones. Welcome to Cirque Device. I started with the question of contemporary sin, uh, thinking about the idea of the seven deadly sins and the medieval allegories of the sins and how separate they were. And I was you know, looking at the news a lot and thinking about the you know, atrocities that have been going on um, nationally and internationally in the planet. I thought, hmm, how does this relate to sin? And so I was thinking about what would those contemporary sins look like? That was the beginning of it, the question. And this sort of the conclusions I began to work towards. And I feel that the question is still hanging there. And I think that's part of the conversation artists have with the, their viewers. I was thinking a little bit about the circus um, at this point when I was beginning to think, uh, make this piece. Because I do think the circus embodies uh, this, those, it's a great motif and it embodies both the idea of pleasure and access. Um, and it's both, the embodies the human condition and the parody of humanity, right? So you have something, clowns that are really, you know, playful and fun, and then you have the fact that many people find them really, really scary, right? And it, that's what circus does. It pulls you in to both the pleasure and the pain of it all. Um, and they, they coexist. They don't, there's not one hierarchy over the other. And that's what makes it so interesting to us when we go to a carnival or a circus. Um, that they do send, they're right there in front of us. It's, it's, it makes us really happy and excited and fearful at the same time. Bernie um, is what I consider every man in some ways. He is full of angst and anxiety. Um, he sho he's showing up a little late to the party. Uh, he's also the ringmaster. So the ringmaster is just slightly lagging behind. Um, but he's coming forward and offering this cake of shrimp that nobody's really gonna eat because nobody likes shrimp cake, really. Uh, but he's brought it to the party. His banner is down. One of the other things I wanted to mention a little bit about him, too, is all of my animals have this sort of, can't think of a better word than humiliation to them. They are silent. They can't speak for themselves. And yet, they're expressing themselves in some way. This is Old Bet, and Old Bet was a, um, the name comes from the very first circus elephant that was brought to North America as part of a menagerie of the, one of the first traveling circuses. Thinking about where the elephant and the menagerie arrived, Boston, and the time period, I doubt that the elephant and the menagerie were the only cargo, animal cargo on that, right? We have humans that were also cargo on a lot of those ships that were crossing the ocean at that time. Um, and there's a whole history buried there. We always bring our own interpretation anyway to what we see, what we, you know, the, our experiences, what is interesting to us when people are looking out at a window uh, and it's raining, some people see the rain going down the window, some people see the glass, some people see something in the distance. So those different ways of seeing become really important uh, in art. I think the, all people should have art in their lives. There's, that's why I really love public art, public art galleries, um, you know, people purchasing art from artists and making art for themselves and, you know, saying, yeah, I want to make art. I'm going to make myself a beautiful environment that I feel comfortable in that supports my mental health. I think that's wonderful. I feel that access to art is vital, especially now. Um, we need art in our lives. We need to uh, feel and experience something that's not mitigated by, you know, being in our rooms and our office, our home office spaces, and we need to have that experience. Hi, I'm Kim Vose Jones, and that was Cirque Device. <laughs>